five. So I'm gonna whip up a couple of really quick and easy caddis type patterns that we use for steelhead, especially in the spring. Um, you know, they start to go into that nymph bite right about now. You know, it's it's mid to late February. Um, most of the eggs, they're out of the system from fall. And, uh, you know, green caddis, black stone flies, hex nymphs, those really start to go. So many, many years ago, we came up with this really quick and easy guide pattern. Um, called it the Boogie Woogie Caddis. And, you know, it's pretty much just a real quick sit down at the end of the night, whip up some of these uh, for guide trips the next day. And it is your choice of color um, when it comes to dyed uh, diamond braid. Um, this is the caddis green color. Sometimes I'll use a chartreuse. Sometimes I'll use more of an olive. But you can see it just goes on there very easily. And that just forms the body. And um, I'll tie this two different ways. One of them is going to be with a collar, kind of like soft tackle style. And um, this just gives it a little bit more definition, maybe that little, those little legs of a buggy type um, profile in the water. Maybe just a little bit of mass, um, something to tone that brighter color down, maybe on a sunny day. And I'll usually just do about two of those, just two wraps. and just snip that off then I'll just kind of comb this back massage those feathers back just a little bit and then a pretty quick and easy just take some peacock hurl you could dub this head um, but just take some peacock hurl or whatever and tie that in a couple wraps of this And you have a quick and easy little Great Lakes steelhead caddis pattern. I tie these for caddis. Uh, for the big manistee, um, I'll tie them in mainly sixes and eights. I'll tie them down to a ten, depending on water clarity. Um, but that's just a super, super duper quick and easy uh, boogie woogie caddis. And we could tie it, show you how quick this is. We'll just whip one up here without the collar. Um, you know, just place the thread on the hook, just like anything else. Now I take it right back to that bend, just cause these cats will have a little bit of curve to them. And I'll kind of bring those little ends down a little bit sometimes. And take this out almost to the head again. And I just wrap this away from me. A nice, super quick and easy. You can sit down and tie a couple of dozen of these in no time at all. Kind of restock the box. And um, super effective pattern. Typically when I fish this, I'll run this under an indicator on smaller streams like the Betsy or Bear Creek or the Pure Marquette. And um, I can run it under uh, a float or I can, uh, you know, run this behind an egg, um, kind of like in a drift fishing situation. If I want to make this head just a little bit bigger, there are a ton of caddis in our rivers and they love the woody debris. You'll catch them, the case caddis, and what happens is these little green worms kind of go out on that filament and then uh, get caught up in the current and just become a, a really easy food source for the steelhead and trout. So I just whip 
Put that up a couple of times and call it good. So there's a couple of really quick and easy, just two little versions of uh, a green caddis. Another body material you might want to use is this pearl uh, corbray chartreuse. And um, I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm using eight-aught thread today just because I must be living on the edge, but I would typically use uh, six-aught thread for this. Um, maybe even like the Vivas 140 would be fine. I just don't have to go too crazy with it. Not a lot to pull down on here. I'll just take a little bit of this diamond core braid. And this is fairly easy stuff to work with as well. I want I can kind of just rotate that through. And that core break gives it a little bit more of a body segmentation. You know, I really don't think that that's such a big deal when it comes to the caddis, although it does give it definitely a more realistic look. And, you know, I can finish this off just with some peacock curl for the head. Trim the ends, and I'm probably taking four to five slices of peacock. I'll just anchor that in. I'm kind of twisting it as I go just a little bit. And that's all there is to it. So there are some super easy, super simple Really quick to tie, highly effective uh, green caddis to help st fill up your uh, spring and fall steelhead box. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, check out our other tying videos um, on our YouTube channel, Storm. Just, do you approve of that? We'll check it out. Check us out at thenorthernangler.com. Thanks a lot.